Greetings, everybody. Welcome to day 19 of the streak. Hope you've had a good weekend and hope you're doing well today. Today I'm reading from Isaiah, the Old Testament prophet, chapter 40. Comfort, comfort my people. Speak tenderly to Jerusalem, that her warfare is ended. Her sin is pardoned. She has received from the Lord's hand double for all her sins. A voice is crying out, clear the way of the Lord in the desert. Make a level highway in the wilderness for our God. Every valley will be raised up, and every mountain and hill will be flattened. Uneven ground will become level, and rough terrain will be like a valley plain. The Lord's glory will appear, and all humanity will see it together. The Lord's mouth has commanded it. The coming of God to us is a time of comfort. God comes not to judge or condemn, but to bring comfort, to bring a rainstorm where there was a drought, to bring light where there is darkness, to bring hope where there is hopelessness. That's what God comes to do. Wherever you are in your life, whether you're in a time of drought, a time of dryness, a time of darkness, know that God is near and God comes to bring comfort, to bring soothing rain, to bring light, to bring life to your life. And God comes to you to make a new way right in the wilderness. Clear a way for the Lord in the desert. Make a level highway in the wilderness. God doesn't ask you to go to him. God comes to you and makes a new path, a new road, right where there was dryness and darkness and despair. There's a new way out that God brings to you today, whatever it is that you're going through. Our prayer today comes from St. Augustine in the 4th century. Watch, dear Lord, with those who wake or weep tonight. Give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend to your sick ones. Give rest to your weary ones. Bless your dying ones. Soothe those who are suffering. Give your mercy to those who are afflicted. For your love's sake. Amen. Have a good day. We'll see you tomorrow.